<laughs> oh yeah, visage. There, now I am my uh, my true self. Yeah. I think I should start off by uh, showing you something cool, though. Oh yeah, you can use that as like a knockback. That's pretty sweet. So here's my dude. Now I'm gonna show you dragon riding without don't, even going to the aisles. Don't press sore. Uh, someone what? just said in chat is getting people stuck in a permit DC loop. So um, you may okay. Want to hold it off. If you want to see Soar, you better check out the video we're going to publish soon. <laughs> That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, hey, this comes with three of those mounts? Interesting. Well, I think if we're going to be setting our UI up, we should probably do that in the Dragon Isles. I think that's only fair, so I'm going to take you to the Dragon Isles now. You know, one of the handy things about me actually getting you know the, the earlier access to this, um, I can certainly uh, give you the guided tour. I've kind of, whoa, there's a lot of people logging in. This couldn't all just be streamers. So I imagine there's plenty of people. All right. Take me away, Questatorin. Into the aisles. Ah, Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. No, I did not publish that video. So I published one video, but the next one is, uh, is the one we're talking about. So... One thing that I've learned is I need to pick this up and I need to do this quest. Once I've done this quest, I will be able to uh, port back here. Trisaur looks cool. Unfortunately, Alexander, it seems to be getting people in DC loop. But what I can do, some dragon of light. Look at this shit. I'm flying around. There's physics. And uh, let me tell you, it actually does feel really good and it gets yeah. you around dead fast too and one of the fun things like with the uh drag through sore ability i want to start doing some testing to compare you know compare the uh, the levels of speed so let me do this quest Akal Hector. hello Trinai. Dionys Akal. and now just to go to camp antonitis which is just over here so somebody said doesn't look like a new UI. Not yet. So they do have new unit frames coming and a whole bunch of other changes. What is new though is edit mode. You know, just do this, basically get bartender. Also, quick keybind mode. You can keybind just like you're using elf, which, uh, I mean, for a lot of people, won't matter because they'll use elf anyway. But for a lot of other people who don't use add ons, it just works out of the box. Oh, nice. Did Laced get in? Sweet. I think, I think maybe you just spotted him. Press M for the map. Here it is. This is the Azure span. The best way that I would describe this is pan north rend. And also, look at this. I think, do, do you want me to check out the hourglass icon? It's something that's kind of neat. So I'll do the hourglass icon, but I'll pick this uh, up first. And let me talk to this NPC. How are you? Okay, quest done. All right, so some plot is happening. Um, we'll do the plot stuff later. So I want to go to this because I want to show you some dragon riding stuff. Where are you? So this is Bronze Timekeeper. This Bronze Timekeeper lets us do some time riding. So I'm going to do the advanced course. This is a time trial. Okay. So let's go up. I probably want to go through the little speed boost. Whoa! That definitely got me going fast. So you see the way I'm sort of shimmering blue? Oh, I'm not shimmering blue anymore. When you're shimmering blue, you regain the blue bar that you can see at the bottom of my sc of my uh, screen. And uh, that gives you vigor. And vigor is basically just the resource that you spend when you are using your actual dragon riding. Oh, I just missed a vigor uh, pickup. There's like little vigor pickups as you go through this. Oh! Way, this has got some tighter turns. So you can see, like, I'm just able to go super fast. Um, I don't, I can't remember what the macro is to uh, check how fast you are going with the games like, oh, I am wasting so much vigor. So you can see in this time trial, there it is very easy to uh, not be optimal. Whoa. But so here, like, now obviously because I'm getting all these little vigor pop-ups or uh, little power-up thingies, oh, I almost missed that. Um, I can just fly, like, uphill. You normally cannot do, like, just straight uphill dragon riding, of course. Um, because it is more like an enhanced glide. 
But that just gives you like an example of like when you're going really fast. And it just, honestly, it feels great. The controls are really good. Um, and this mouse has ran out of battery. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the, the dragon riding is, is really fun. Is it like Guild Wars 2 or better? I'm not super sure. Um, yeah, my mouse ran out of vigor, totally. But it does feel really good. Feels like you're going fast. It is super satisfying. I think it's just, uh, it's a really solid feature. So uh, that is totally good stuff. Um, and like, what matters is the gameplay being fun. So... From where I am now, I'll actually give you a pretty decent example. But, like, verticality matters. So when you get to the top of a big hill, you really feel that in the gameplay. Because then you know that your dragon riding can carry you way, 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 way further. Like, maybe to the other end of the map. Like, the next thing I'm going to do is show you a bunch of the Kalawak, or the, the Tuscar dudes. And uh, I can just go straight there, super, super quick with flight. Hello, sir. Do you have a... USB-A slot. I do indeed. Yep, Will we are... provide any power? We are almost in business. That's not bad. There you go. We're in business, everyone. Beautiful job. Hello, Matt. Yes, hello. Can see... Ah, oh, he's just off camera. <laughs> hello. There he is. Yeah. Ah, do a barrel roll. Not unlocked yet. Oh, yeah. You have to unlock your abilities first. Yeah, totally. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take you to the uh, to the Tuscar because we fucking love Tuscar. Everyone loves Tuscar, right? So I've got three vigor. So let's uh, let's go up and let's go up again. And now that we're high, we can get some of the old uh, momentum. And soon I'm gonna be shimmering blue. And you can see now the level of speed that I've got is really high. And now I'm going fast. Um, and I guess it's just really. Honestly, this is like one of my favorite features. It feels so good. It solves so many of the game's problems uh, because it's not like OP in the way that having no clip flying is. You still appreciate the world. You're still playing. You're playing with the world's uh, geometry, uh, right? Because you need to think about it. I mean, in this case, it's easy mode because I am just straight up flying downhill. Um, but it means like you're still thinking about the world. The world is still the main character, which is very important for a design pillar. Um, but you don't have the annoyance that sometimes does indeed come from being in a ground mount. Like, if you want to uh, hop over a group of mobs, you can do that super easy and super quick with this system. And that feels really good. So, you're basically always slowly descending, but like, I've got a bunch of speed built up. So I could kind of span my speed to get a little bit higher and then, you know, sort of flap down again. And uh, now I can take us into a Kalawak village. And because I was able to do all that, I actually regained some uh, vigor. So I can actually really keep this flight going for, uh, yeah, for quite some time indeed. So now we've got a bunch of Kalawak. You know what? They're cool. I like them. <laughs> it's uh, it's just nice seeing, you know, Wrath of the Lich King era stuff, but just kind of, I guess, done with the, uh, you know, the higher production values, I suppose. Um, yeah, it's just like, man, it's it's really cozy, I would say. O Oxy says they're actually putting gameplay in the game. Yeah, crazy, right? Now, there is a turtle here, and I know the turtle will take you somewhere else, but I don't know if that will uh, get me booted out. Also otter. Sorry, an otter. Very good. So yeah, this place is giving big Northrend vibes, which I think is super strong. Show the world map. Yeah, here it is. Um, there's the isles. So we've got these earthspan here. It's the third zone. I think Waking Shores is the first you go to. Then Onoran Plains, then Azurspan, then Thaldrassus. Maybe. <laughs> um, now, don't know where it is yet, though. They have not placed it in the world. I mean, canonically, it should be somewhere around here. But, I mean, it wasn't super canon anyway. It was more just known about from, like, the game's development history. So, don't really know where, uh, you know where it's actually going to uh, going to pop up. So now, if I can go fast enough here, I'll actually be able to go out of bounds and maybe show you a zone you're not supposed to see. Can the track for your fight without transform? Nah. 
it wouldn't work with their animations um, and like their abilities, like their tail swipe. Like you kind of need a tail to do the tail swipe, right? Um, yeah, they they just wouldn't really make that much sense. So I think I've been a bit silly because I actually can't even get to that other zone. <laughs> 